Good morning and happy new week. Happy new month as well. Let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you very much for the privilege we have together like this, one with another for a time of fellowship with your spirit. And Lord, we thank you for your plan and counsel for this new month. And Lord, we receive all that you have in mind for us with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord has been good to us. We've seen the first quarter of this year, and this is the first Monday in the month of April, which is a new month that we're seeing together on this broadcast. And for this, we're grateful to the Lord. We want to leverage on the power of revelation as we commence the journey of this new week. And I have no doubt in my mind that the Lord will be reaching out to every single one of us in very definite and specific ways in the name of Jesus. Okay, let us read like we usually do Genesis 21 from 14 to 19. We'll take that reading. This is the story of Hagar, you know, the maid of Sarah that Father Abraham got pregnant based on the counsel of Sarah, his wife. So we're reading her story. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and took bread and a bottle of water and gave it unto Hagar, putting it on her shoulder and the child and sent her away. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. And the water was spent in the bottle and she cast the child under one of the shrubs. And she went and sat her down over against him a good way off as it were a bow shot for she said let me not see the death of the child and she sat over against him and lift up her voice and wept verse 17 and god heard the voice of the lad may the lord hear your voice may the lord hear your cries may the lord hearken to your desires he heard the voice of the lad and the angel of god called to hagar out of heaven and said unto her what ailed thee, Hagar? Whose voice did God hear? The voice of a lad. Who got the response? The mother. Because God will not bypass the authority of the parent to get across to the child. You know, he respects all these reporting lines. Anyway, let's go on. So, the angel of the Lord called to Hagar out of heaven and said unto her, What ailed thee, Hagar? Fear not, for God hath heard the voice of the lad where he is. Verse 18, Arise, lift up the lad, and hold him in thine hand, for I will make him a great nation. Verse 19, which is where we're going. And God opened her eyes, and she saw. And God opened her eyes, and she saw. The power of revelation. We're leveraging on that this week. The Lord will open your eyes, and you will see. The Lord will open your eyes, and you will see. When he opens your eyes, we're not talking about your physical eyes necessarily. We're talking about your inner eyes, the real eyes that with which you see. The ones outside, we see through them, but the ones inside, we see with them. May you see with your eyes this month and this week in the name of Jesus as the Lord opens your eyes. So the Lord opened her eyes and she saw a well of water. She saw what she needed. She saw the answer to her prayer. May you see the answer to your prayer this week. A well of water. And she went and filled the bottle with water and gave the lad to drink. Like we know, the lad did not die. And like it was prophesied, it became a great nation. Ephesians 1, 17 to 18, before we start praying. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance and the saints. So he will give you first the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. And then the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened and you will know. Amen. So first, spirit of wisdom and revelation, then eyes will be enlightened. She saw, the Lord opened her eyes and she saw a well of water. Let us begin to pray. Can we appreciate the Lord for his wisdom? Let's thank him because he's the God of wisdom, he's the God of glory, he's the father of light, he's the father of, of eternity, he's our king. Father, we worship you because you are the God of glory, you are the God of all majesty, you are the God of all preeminence and power. Everything begins with you, everything ends in you. We give you praise for you are Alpha and you are Omega. Can we appreciate him for the journey of a new month and the journey of a new week? Lord, we want to thank you for the journey of a new month and the journey of a new week. Lord God, that we are beginning today. The glory is yours. The honor is yours. The adoration is yours in Jesus' name for preservation, for provision, for access. Let's give thanks unto the Lord. Father, we give you thanks for preservation. We give you thanks for provision. We give you thanks for access. We give you thanks for your mercies. We give you thanks for your loving kindness. You are good and your mercies endure forever. 
Father, we say take all the glory and honor in the name of Jesus. I want us to give thanks unto the Lord for our covenant rights, our covenant benefits as children of the Most High. Lord, we want to thank you for our covenant rights, our covenant benefits as children of the Most High. We exalt your name in the name of Jesus. Can we thank him for answered prayers? Can we thank him for open heavens? Can we thank him for the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things concerning us? Lord, we want to thank you for answered prayers. We want to thank you for open heavens. We want to thank you for access. We want to thank you for the blood, the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things concerning us. We want to thank you, O oh God, for your backing and your presence that we enjoy day in, day out, month in, month out, year in, year out. You are always with us. You are always for us. We give you praise. Can we appreciate the Lord for the heritage of his word? We want to thank you for the heritage of your word that you have given to us. We are heirs of your word. Our divine inheritance is contained in your word and you have revealed and released your word unto us. Blessed be your holy name in the name of Jesus. Can we receive the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of God for the journey of this week for every one of us praying Lord I receive the wisdom uh, the, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you Lord for the journey of this week in the name of Jesus cause me to abound and overflow in the spirit of wisdom in the spirit of revelation concerning your word concerning your ways in the name of Jesus ask the Lord to open your eyes into his ways even this week and for the rest of this month Lord open my eyes into your ways open my eyes into your word for the journey of this week for the rest of this month for the rest of my days in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth ask that the Lord will enlighten the eyes of your understanding so that you will know all that you should know Lord enlighten the eyes of my understanding that I may know all that I should know in the name of Jesus tell the Lord you will not walk in darkness tell the Lord you will not walk in doubt you will not walk uh, without without guidance in the name of Jesus Lord because of the light of your counsel shining upon my heart I will not walk in darkness i will not be confused i'll not be confounded not this week not this month not for the rest of my days in the name of jesus when the light of god shines upon our hearts we always know what to do tell the lord with the light of his glory you will always know what to do lord with the light of your glory i will always know what to do in the name of jesus no confusion around me no distress around me no feelings around me in the name of jesus christ of nazareth the lord opened the eyes of him and she saw trust the Lord to open your eyes into your provision for the journey of this week in the name of Jesus Lord open my eyes into my provision your provision that you've made available for me Lord open my eyes into that provision and onto those provisions for the journey of this week and for the journey of this month in the name of Jesus open my eyes onto divine sustenance Lord by the power of your spirit in the name of Jesus there are resources that you are yet to tap into there are realms that you're here to tap into. Can you ask the Lord to open your eyes onto those resources, to open your eyes onto those realms, onto those places that the Lord has prepared for you. Lord, open my eyes onto the resources that you have made available unto me by the power of your spirit for the journey of this week, for the rest of this month, for the rest of this year. In the name of Jesus, open my eyes to realms, realms of glory, realms of power, realms of the supernatural. Lord God, that you release and prepare appeared unto me concerning this week, concerning this month and the rest of this year. In the name of Jesus, ask him to open your eyes to realms of possibilities, realms of possibilities that you never knew existed. Lord, open my eyes to realms of possibilities, the realms of, 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 of things I never knew existed. Oh God, open my eyes and launch me forth onto those realms and those dimensions in the name of Jesus. Hagar never knew that well was there. It was a supernatural provision. It was a supernatural encounter. Ask the Lord to open your eyes uh, onto supernatural experiences, supernatural visitations, supernatural encounters. Lord, open my eyes to supernatural experiences, supernatural visitations, supernatural encounters uh, this month, uh, and this week, uh, and for the rest of this year. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, re re release yourself onto divine satisfaction. Do you know Hagar knew divine satisfaction? The lad knew divine satisfaction on a account of that visitation. Lord, open my eyes unto divine satisfaction on account of your visitations this week and for the rest of this month and this year. Open my eyes unto divine satisfaction in the name of Jesus. Cause me to abide satisfied. Cause every one of us praying on the broadcast to abide satisfied in the name of Jesus. As for the light of the glory of God to shine upon any dark area, any gray area of your life in the name of Jesus. Lord God, 
Almighty, let the light of your presence shine and, and swallow up darkness or any gray area around our lives in whatever, in whatever situations and circumstances we might be going through right now. Your light swallows up the darkness for your light is the light of revelation. In the name of Jesus Christ, trust the Lord for solutions on account of revelation. Solutions. Let there be solutions to every challenge, to every problem, to every, every issue on account of your revelation in the name of Jesus. And Lord, this day and this week and this month and this year will leverage, oh God, on the power of revelation. We ride upon every high place. We come out victorious to the glory and honor of your name. And this week we shall rejoice. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us to pray today. See you again next Monday. Bye-bye.